Hello everyone, my name is Ishbin Bryan and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to jump over a house in Adobe After Effects. Uh, if you like what you see, please comment, like, subscribe so I know to keep making these videos. You can follow my Instagram here to see more effects that I make and let's get right into it. So what you're going to need to do is get two shots that are the exact same thing. So you're going to shoot this on a tripod or make sure your phone is completely still and like propped up on something. Make sure you place your tripod at a low angle and you're shooting upwards towards the house. So it'd be easier to jump over. So the first shot you need to get is a blank slate just showing, let's say, the house from the front with no subject in it, nobody in it, no movement, no nothing. So for the second shot, you're going to bring your subjects into the footage here and just have them get as close as they can to the camera and jump. And when they jump, they have to clear the roof of the house because that's where the transition is going to happen. So make sure you have a friend who can actually jump and has some hops so that they jump and clear the house. Oh my God. And let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do when you go into After Effects is to bring in your blank slate and your house jump. So what this is gonna look like is, um, my blank slate is gonna look like this. Pretty much nothing in the frame. It's gonna be nice and empty. Um, in my case, I used a freeze frame because I did not have manual exposure turned on. So that's a tip. Make sure you have manual exposure and manual focus turned on as well, because that could, uh, you know, corrupt this file or make it hard to use. Um, so my blank slate is the first clip on top of my second one. If I uncheck the eyeball, you can see this is the clip of me jumping down like so. So now what I'm going to do is take my blank slate and I'm just going to cut out the house. So what I'm going to do is go to the pen tool up here, click it, and we're gonna start masking our blank slate. Make sure your blank slate layer is selected and I'm just gonna cut out the house as best as I can. You can always fine tune this later, but we are just going to cut out the roof of the house because we're basically making a cardboard cutout of this. Um, this is a technique called masking or rotoscoping. And all I'm going to do is cut out these little areas here because I think my body crosses them as well. So I'm just making a little track for myself. All right, so then once you've had you've cut out the roof here, you're just going to cut out the rest of the frame here below. And you want to reconnect that pen tool to the first keyframe you made. There we go. And I'm already on top of the house by just cutting out that house there which is pretty cool. Um, I think Dylan's head is over here. We're just gonna ignore that for now and pretend he wasn't in the shot, but that's pretty sweet. So I actually want to jump over this, right? So if you look, it's just in front. So what I'm gonna do is go right here. So as soon as I'm in, in midair right here, I'm going to want to change back to the original footage. So I'm going to take my blank slate, like that cutout we made, and this is where it's going to change. So you can see uh, Dylan is actually in the shot. So I will adjust my blank slate um, a little bit here if I just delete some of these keyframes because I want to make sure he is in the shot as well, like so. There we go. And you can see the mask line right here, which is totally okay, because that's what we're going to fix later. But um, for the most part, if you look, we just did a jump from behind, and then we're back in front. The lighting exposure changes because I had auto exposure on, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Now I can go in and clean this up. So if I look at the blank slate, um, I could try to match the color of this here. Um, and what I usually do is add at least a little bit of feather to feather out the edges here. So I'll go down to the blank slate, drop down arrow here, go to masks, and then mask one, and then feather. I'm just gonna change it to at least a two. We're gonna take a look. We could do maybe a four, um, we'll see. Um, but now we're gonna fine tune the color of it. So if I go up to effects and presets up here, I can type in Lumetri. 
L-U-M-E-T-R-I, Lumetri Color, drag and drop that onto your blank slate. And now what we're going to do is try to match this color as close to this as possible. So you can see like the exposure changed, nothing too crazy. Um, what I'm going to do is go to exposure here and I'm going to change that to, let's say, bring it up a little bit so it kind of matches. Let's see. There we go. I brought my exposure up a little bit just to, to you know, to make that uh, look a little bit better. But that's pretty much all you got to do. And if I hit play, you jump over a house. Um, in my case, I have like a sudden change right here of color again. So I might want to do a gradual transition to that exposure there. So if I just click um, on my footage here, because my, my exposure is changing again. Of course, if you didn't shoot this um, with auto exposure, you'd be done already. But since I'm doing this, I'm going to bring this up here change my exposure again. I'm going to set a keyframe under exposure in Lumetri, um, the color there. And as I'm jumping, I'm going to try to match that color there. So I might have it get darker. So it kind of blends. Let's see there. That's a lot better. <laughs> Got an ice cream truck outside. What's it doing? Boom, pretty close. So you can really fine tune the exposure set keyframes for it, but for the most part, this is how you jump over a house. Pretty fun. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Hopefully this was helpful. I'm excited to see what you make out of all this. Just use this technique in many different ways to create your own art. Uh, if you like what you saw, please comment, like, subscribe, so I know to keep making these tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram here to see more effects that I make. Um, but let me know what you wanna see in the next video, and I'll see you later.